But let me go back to the czars. There are nearly three dozen of these czars. They don't answer to anybody. They are special advisors to the president. They don't go through a confirmation process. They are advising our president. Who are they? What do they believe? What are they advising the president to do? Today, we're going to start highlighting one of our czars. He works or was a board member for the Apollo Alliance, the alliance that actually got together and helped write the stimulus package. Here's czar number one. The first stop is Van Jones. Big corporations are going to be continuing to run big campaigns where they're, they're, they're you know, so green and love it, you know, and you're like, wait a minute, aren't you an oil company? Aren't you killing my in Nigeria? Wait, hold on a second, wait. How did you, who made this ad content? Who is Obama's green job czar, Van Jones? If you listen to the president's speech uh, a couple of days ago, and I was lucky to be there, you know, I, I, I worked there, but, uh, you know, when he comes out, simple. I'm basically a community organizer inside the federal family. Let's start at Yale Law School, where Van Jones showed up wearing combat boots and holding a Black Panther book bag. He said of that period, if I'd been in another country, I probably would have joined some underground guerrilla sect. But as it was, I went to an Ivy League law school. Although he says he wanted to drop out, Jones stayed because he decided the degree would give him legitimacy to speak out on civil rights issues, which would later become a crucial part of his crusade. This is no longer just about business opportunities for rich people or consumer choices for the affluent. It's about jobs for poor people, health for poor people, wealth building opportunities for low income people. And I applaud Nancy Pelosi for her stand for a clean energy jobs bill. A major turning point came in 1993 when he was arrested during the Rodney King riot. In jail, he, quote, met all of these young radical people of color. I mean, really radical, communists and anarchists. And it was like, this is what I need to be a part of, end quote. The verdicts, which cleared the cops of beating Rodney King, came down in late April of that year. Jones says, by August, I was a communist. He spent the next 10 years as a full-fledged radical, among other things, founding a group called Storm, standing together to organize a revolutionary movement, which held study groups in the Marxist and Lenin teachings. According to the group's historical pamphlet, Reclaiming Revolution, quote, all of Storm's members developed a basic understanding of and a commitment to revolutionary Marxist policies, with a particular emphasis on the historical experiences of third world communist movements. The group particularly revered Mao Zedong, who, history tells us, killed 77 million of his own people, far more than Hitler and Joseph Stalin. Storm's early work involved, quote, mobilizing young people of color into militant direct action and combine it with more deeply rooted organizing in our communities. One of the big causes? trying to mobilize for convicted cop killer Mumia Abu Jamal. Besides their studying and activism within the group, each of the Storm members had side projects. For example, Jones spun off the Storm-affiliated Bay Area Police Watch in 1995, which expanded to become the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights. Baker, an unsung civil rights hero, worked closely with communists for years, including secret party member Stanley Levinson. For many years, the CP USA's top money man. As part of his work against police brutality, Jones made a huge impact, saying things that no one else would, like, Willie Brown's police commission is killing black people. In 1999, Jones was arrested again while protesting the World Trade Organization. Storm dissolved three years later. He's since renounced his black nationalism to focus on environmentalist issues. People often say to me, you're black. How can you be an environmentalist? No, no, I'm African. How can I not love the earth? He railed against the government. 
for what happened during Hurricane Katrina and touted a new green jobs plan that focused on stopping eco-apartheid. Adding a social justice component to green jobs, he says he wants to, quote, build a pipeline from the prison economy to the green economy. Training rehabilitated convicts to build towards a solar-powered energy-efficient future. You cannot be global warming unless you understand that 40% of greenhouse gases are not coming from cars, they're coming from buildings, and 75% of greenhouse gas emissions are coming from the cities. You cannot be global warming unless you green the cities. You cannot green the cities unless you green the ghetto, and you cannot green the ghetto in 2009 without giving Pookie a job. And why is it that such a committed revolutionary has made it so high into the Obama administration as one of his chief advisors. According to a huge profile of Van Jones that appeared in the East Bay Express in 2005, quote, he still considers himself a revolutionary, just a more effective one. In the book, That's the Joint, the Hip Hop Studies reader, Van Jones said, quote, we need to be about the whoop, somebody's effing up somewhere. They have names and job descriptions. You have to be creative about how you engage the enemy, because if you do it on his terms, the outcome is already known. The true genius of Barack Obama is that the first black president is the first green president. He's not just trying to save you, he's going to save the whole wide world. Van Jones, yep, still a revolutionary. Now, just a more effective, and dare I say, powerful one. We asked the White House today this question. Is the White House aware that Van Jones has this background in radical politics? If so, did it give the White House any pause? Here's a response we got. Mr. Jones is entirely focused on one policy goal, building clean energy incentives which create 21st century jobs that improve energy efficient and utilize uh, renewable resources. Gosh, that doesn't seem like an answer to that question. Did it to you?